Okay, this building has an elevator. We're also on the top floor. The very first unit as you get off the elevator is 401. This is walking into the entry, which has beautiful <clears throat> uh, tile entryway. And then it's looking like really nice, decent newish carpet. First thing when you walk in here is the kitchen, which is a galley style, uh, but it's been updated. These are Ikea cabinets in um, sort of a marble top, slab marble top, with that is green tile backsplash. <clears throat> really nice undermount sink. It's a downdraft oven. Uh, again, these are all IKEA cabinets. Dishwasher. Kitchen uh, is open to the living room, dining area, and then off the back of the kitchen is this nook, cafe, uh, table eating area. So storage. This is the south. <clears throat> east corner of the building it's also the top floor so it is um, crazy high ceilings 20 feet maybe um, all the way up there <clears throat> you do get a deck overlooking the view it's Dexter Avenue Big lake view. It's a little noisy on this deck because, uh, as you can see, Aurora uh, is building back up to 99, which is Aurora. So you have some noise factor there. You can see 99. If you were to sit in this breakfast nook and look out, uh, you can see the traffic going by. Okay, looking back towards the kitchen with the cafe bar. The living room has a wood-burning fireplace, a large mantle, um, there is a lowish building in front, I guess you do have a risk that that building could be built up, but I feel like due to the way the street is sloped, um, it wouldn't be any higher to block your view. There is a small grocery store on the corner, Lions New York style grocery. It's kind of nice. This is looking back towards the unit and then you can see the upper loft. Okay, main floor also has uh, a bedroom. There's closets. This bedroom is gigantic, 15 by 15. Um, funny thing though, you do look into the bathroom upstairs. <laughs> there are glass panels, but it's kind of a funny angle. Storage here on the left and the right. Here's your laundry room. It's good size with newer machines. Off to the back here is a, a bathroom, tile floors, it's a tiny sink cabinet, um, it's an original tile and the tub surround, it's a Toto toilet. <clears throat> this is looking back towards the front door heading upstairs and then behind the kitchen here. Um, kitchen and then behind the kitchen is the is another bedroom uh, this is probably 13 by 13 in size this bedroom um, does back all the way up to 99 so you can hear it but hey there's the bus stop the uh, five Okay, go upstairs. 
check out the master suite. Nice thing, this building does have an elevator and this unit is on the top. It's in really great shape. It's got good paint, um, good paint and carpet. So the upstairs unit is a loft style. You can still have a nice view up here. Um, also looking down towards the living areas. Here is the uh, bedroom space. This is ginormous, huge. At least 20 by 20 by 25 with a fireplace, a second fireplace. Um, but no door and it is open, loft style open. Closet for the master bedroom, walk-in closet has built-ins, storage on the right, and then a huge walk-in closet that's probably 10 by 8 uh, with a skylight. <clears throat> this unit does come with three parking spaces. Here's the master bath. Uh, this is very original. Um, but in, in good shape, it looks clean with a skyline, double vanity. Ceramic tile counters and floor. There is a separate shower. And this is a color toilet with the These are the windows that looked out onto that other bedroom <clears throat> down there. All in all, lots of space. Um, it's in great shape for what it is. The kitchen remodel is beautiful um, and they've really kept it up nicely. I think the HOA dues are really high um, because it's a really large unit and there's an elevator in this building. so. Uh, that's you have it you you have some road noise off Aurora but otherwise um, I think the view is really great for the price okay talk to you soon